started off uh, with, you know, a few of us uh, together, and um, it was kind of for the fun of it, but it wasn't taken as serious as uh, perhaps it should be, maybe. Um, not that it has to be real serious, but uh, it just was kind of like we would go with the flow of whatever came along. Um, things kind of didn't get there for us until we kind of broke up with the people that we were playing uh, with, and uh, we just brought in some new 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 people. Um, once people were added into it, it just become this pretty incredible band. Fassie, vocalist, bass player. You know, I, I never would have dreamt that anybody would put eight people in a band, you know. Uh, uh, I, I always joked around and says we're, you know, like Earth, Wind and Fire revisited here, you know, but uh, with uh, eight, eight people, um, it just br brought in a lot of talent. Ed Dusing, keyboard, vocalist. They asked us to play at the picnic at Mother of God, and I've been there 39 years. And I decided to, I was playing with another little group, and then I got these guys, because I knew they could play. I knew they could sing. I needed a guitar player. I went out and got my Michael, my nephew, and I went out and got Ryan. And then Joe asked me, down under the undercroft when we were eating donuts, he said, do you mind if I come and play with you guys at the picnic? I said, well, sure, just bring an amp and a guitar. And he came and played, and Michael told me and Aaron, he said, maybe I'd ask Joe if he wants to play with us, because he was damn good. Mike Krebs, vocals and guitar. Well, I guess I was first approached when my uh, uncle, Ed, who plays keyboards in the band, he knew, well, I, I guess, <laughs> go back I kind of knew everybody from the church setting but Uncle Ed had been playing with everybody else doing the karaoke things and basically told me that we were all planning on getting together for a practice one time after we did our first initial show at this festival and that was when we really got into the idea that we were playing some songs we realized that you know everybody was good enough to really not only carry a tune but really kind of bring it to life we got a lot of different vocalists a lot of different instrumentalists who can kind of build off of each other and when I really started playing in that, I, I realized that it was something I wanted to keep doing, which made me enjoy it even more. Ryan Matt, play acoustic guitar. I was asked to sit in for practice uh, a couple weeks before the church festival and got some songs down and it kind of had a good feeling to it. And then uh, we played the festival and it was a really good time. It was outdoors, a nice sunny day. Everybody was, you know, in a good mood, having fun. And uh, it just kind of blossomed from there. Joe Robinson, guitar, vocals. 32 years this year playing, I guess that's dating myself a little bit. Um, but, you know, I started out as every, like a lot of kids, I was an Eddie Van Halen wannabe, and then along the way I discovered everything else from Clapton to the Beatles. Uh, just, uh, I, I, there's not much music that I don't like. Uh, 
Not too fond of wrap, but there's even a little bit of wrap that I like. Roy Sharp, vocalist and drummer. My idol, uh, Gavin Harrison. Uh, I always say that if God wanted to learn to play the drums, he'd call Gavin Harrison and ask him. He's incredible. Um, going over the years, Danny Serafin from Chicago, um, Jeff Pocaro from Toto, my idols. And of course the older guys, Buddy Rich, uh, incredible. Um, I've stolen as many licks from him as I can probably play. Christian the Fassi, vocalist. My favorite songwriter is Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, and I've listened to him since I was about 12 years old. I've been singing before that, but when I really got an idea who I was wanting to be musically, I listened to him and to the harmonies of the Beach Boys, and I tried to harmonize. And that's why I kind of like the choir settings I was in, and also in this band is the fact that I try to put the harmonies with the song. I just love his work and he's who I idolize, so. We just got together within the last, I mean, literally four yeah. months, maybe five wow. at the most, yeah. and and very short practices and stuff. So just to get a big group of songs together so we could actually go out and play, you know, uh, I think once we get this undertaken, you know, then then adding on new stuff here and there and mixing up some We're stuff already doing that. is is going to be, you know, it's it's it just keeps on driving, you know, and you, and your list just keeps getting bigger and bigger so that whenever perhaps somebody wants, you know, something they yell out, you know, how about this? We've already got it, you know, possibly. So I guess that's my strong. Well, it was really great. It was just magical. I felt like Everybody was there to see me. I mean, everybody's just lining up and there were people out there and it was just absolutely amazing. I was blown away. I felt like I was just on top of the world and that all those people took time out of their day to come see us and it was just, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it was just a great experience. And when I saw all the people there for the first time, I was just floored just floored and I it, it helped me perform really good because I felt really energetic and, and energized and pumped up and uh, just wanted to give them a terrific show it was just amazing the thing about it for me was actually with you know was it wasn't so much the people that was there at the time it was actually at break times and where people that you didn't even know were there because they were regulars and they actually come up and say you guys sound good and and wow this place is packed i've been coming here for a year straight and nobody's ever had this many people that's when it set into me like you know what this is pretty exceptional no it was amazing there were so many people there that i didn't get to see that were there that for three or four weeks afterwards i was still hearing from people that they they came out and saw us and i didn't even know didn't even know i mean there were that many people and they're all waiting for us to play next. Yeah. A true blessing. A true next. blessing. Something about movement, uh, the music, uh, you just keep moving, uh, and then when you kind of get in uh, to a good jam, you kind of lose yourself in the, in the moment and kind of time, maybe just uh, stay still for a minute, and you, I don't, there's like a clarity factor, and then just uh, moving is... I guess just something I don't even think about. It just just seems natural, I guess. Okay. There's something different about playing and singing. It uh, takes you to a new level. It's more fulfilling. And when you're doing it with people that you really like, I I'm really glad I did it because this can be something really worth being a part of. And then with the acoustic, I like the acoustic. I like the feel of what it added. And when you put it all together, 
it, it's something special because uh, I don't think you'll find another band out there that can pull off some of the things that we can pull off. For me, it's all about the relationships with people and the there's, talent. There's a lot of respect for everyone. And I feel like it's in addition to being fun though, everybody also has like a good attention to detail with the songs. Like we want to make them sound as good as they possibly can. And yeah, there's just a lot of dedication there, which makes it do, makes doing it much, much more enjoyable as well. One word about your band, if you had one word to say, what would that be? Talented. Fun. I would just have to say, uh, and it, it'd be two words, but an experience. One word. I, I guess exuberance uh, is a strange word, but I was would have said fun, but that, yeah, everybody else have fun, and there's a good uh, vibe to it. Enthusiastic, definitely. Uh, everyone, uh, it's, it's, it's infectious. Uh, uh, everyone wants to help each other, and and everyone comes prepared. And and if someone's uh, needing a little help on a song, someone rises to the occasion. So that was like 50 words. I only have four. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> we are iconics. iconics. They're, they're they're like family to me. You know, I I love them.